In 1972 a French scientist did something unimaginable. He locked himself 440 feet underground, in pitch black darkness, for 180 days, no sunlight, no clock, no human contact. Michel Seifer, a geologist and researcher, was obsessed with understanding how the human body and brain behave under extreme conditions. He believed that the key to understanding the mind lay in its connection with time. So, he designed a radical experiment to live alone, in complete isolation, in a cave deep beneath the earth. No watch, no sunlight, no idea of what time it was. He wanted to find out what happens to the mind in total isolation. When all cues to time are stripped away, what remains? The world called him crazy. But in 1972, Sifra descended into a cave 440 feet underground. Disconnected from the world, no night or day, just him. A sleeping bag, a few survival tools, and the crushing silence of the earth. Darkness, total, silence, deafening. At first, Sifra tried to maintain a routine. He let hunger and fatigue tell him when to eat and sleep. But without any guidance, his sense of time began to fall apart. Hours began to feel like minutes. Days started blending together and soon his mind began to unravel. He started experiencing hallucinations, seeing shadows, hearing voices, a belief that someone else was in the cave, thoughts spiraling into chaos, isolation was breaking his mind. Above ground, his team was monitoring everything. They compared his actions to real-world time and the results were shocking. After just two months when Sifra believed only 24 hours had passed, nearly 48 hours had actually gone by. His internal clock was completely off. His body had created a new rhythm, 36 hours awake, 12 hours asleep. This blew scientists away. The human body is naturally synced to a 24-hour circadian rhythm tied to sunlight. But in the absence of light, the brain begins to create its own time, Siffer's experiment proved something revolutionary. Time isn't just external, time exists inside the human mind. But, there was a dark side to this discovery. Weeks turned into months, and his mental state worsened. He started forgetting words mid-sentence, struggled to recall basic facts. His emotions became unstable, waves of joy, crashing into deep despair. Isolation was reshaping his brain. He later described the experience as a slow descent into madness. He began talking to insects. He found comfort in his own voice. But the silence always returned, cold, cruel, and endless. After 180 days, Sifra was finally brought out of the cave. He thought he had spent 151 days. He couldn't believe he had lost nearly a month of time. It was now proven time is not just what clocks say, it's something the mind constructs. And when deprived of external cues, that construction begins to fall apart. Seifer's experiment shocked the scientific world. His research impacted many fields, circadian rhythm science, space travel and long duration isolation. The psychological effects of solitary confinement, but the price was immense. Seifer suffered long-term memory issues. His mental health took years to recover. He described the cave as an unending night that haunted him for life but he didn't stop. Sifra later repeated the experiment to test his findings again. His research became a cornerstone in the study of sleep, brain time, and human psychology. And yet, he left us with haunting questions. What is time, really? Is it just the ticking of a clock, or something deeper within us? Sifra's story proves, time is both, and the brain holds the power to shape it. The mind is a universe of its own. Michel Sifra. His journey reminds us the human brain is incredibly powerful and terrifyingly fragile. And sometimes it takes complete solitude to truly see the depths of our inner world.